Hello, Ringgold High School. Thank you for watching Tiger Nation News. I'm Bryce Hart. And I am Sal Keith. Today is Friday, April 12th, and we don't have too long until summer. Also, don't forget your sunscreen and your sunglasses, or else you might become a little bit crispy. Anyway, Dawson is in the studio with next week's lunch forecast. Dawson? Monday, we got hot dogs or breaded steak sandwiches with sides of broccoli, seasoned fries, and fruit. Tuesday, chicken tenders or taco mac with sides of carrot dippers, salad, and fruit. Wednesday, watch out now because we got soft tacos or cheese quesadillas with sides of beans and seasoned corn. Thursday, you might want to hunker down because we got hamburgers or baked potatoes on the menu with sides of baked beans, broccoli with cheese, and fruit. Friday, watch out. It looks like pizza will be rolling out alongside some te chicken tetrazzini with sides of seasoned corn, spiced carrots, and fruit. As always, chef salad and pepperoni or cheese pizza with milk to drink will be options every day. Well, that's it for the next week's lunch forecast. Bryce and Sal, back to you. Thanks, Dawson. We started this week back from spring break with a solar eclipse happening Monday afternoon. Ringgold was not along the path of totality, of course, but students were still able to see the partial eclipse of the sun. We did have some clouds cover it up, but that actually helped us to see it. Did you know that a solar eclipse caused a war to end? It's true. In 4th century BC, the Lydians and Medes were at war in what is now known as Turkey, and the war got, went on for about five years. Suddenly, on May 28, 585 BCE, sounds of fighting slowly came to a halt as the sky darkened and day turned to night. This was interpreted by both sides as a sign from the skies to end the war, but in reality, it was just the solar eclipse. They were in the path of totality. Imagine not understanding why the sun was suddenly covered up. Uh, something very cool and unique has been built for our students that will be on our campus for a long time. Teen in reporter Abby Riddle is in the studio to tell us all about it. Abby? That's right. As Wyatt Jackson is an Eagle Scout and he's also a junior here at RHS. For his Eagle Scout rank, he decided to do this project in a way that would benefit our school. Take a look. The Eagle Scout Award is the highest award available to members of the Boy Scouts of America. Not everyone reaches that level, but RHS junior Wyatt Jackson did, all in the name of service to Ringgold High School. I chose Ringgold High School because I'm very fond of the school. His Eagle Scout project was to build two wooden benches to be installed at the bus loading area in front of the school. The planning took several months. We talked about several things that he could do to help Ringgold High School out and uh, we came up with doing, uh, or he was going to make several benches for us uh, so our students could sit out on bus duties in the afternoon. Once Mr. Jones and Wyatt were clear on the project, it was time to get to work. I received a donation of materials from Lowe's. I had a lot of help from friends and family. Wyatt says Mr. Jones was happy to help him get started and Wyatt was grateful for the support. No, Wyatt did the, uh, did the Eagle Scout project alone, but he would uh, visit with me a couple of times throughout the project, tell me where he was at with it, uh, and that the date that he was going to bring the benches, and then we decided, of course, where we wanted to put them down at the bus, bus stop. I had 10 scouts show up on, prod, on the build day. Uh, the build day took about four hours. After we built the benches, we painted them, stenciled on uh, the Ringgold R's, and then took them to the school. And hopefully that the benches will be there a long time and students will come up and ask, hey, who built the benches? And hopefully what it'll do, it'll inspire other students to do other service projects for Ringo High School. Uh, I'm very proud. I remember uh, drilling pocket holes in my garage and um, eating lunch with the other scouts at my house. And I remember uh, loading the wood from Lowe's and taking it home and uh, building the benches and I remember taking them there and taking pictures of them. It, it's great. White, White is a, a great student, uh, a wonderful young man, and uh, he represents Ringgold High School in a very positive way with respect, honesty, and service. I'm glad that I chose Ringgold High School to do my project with. Reporting at RHS, I'm Abby Riddle, Tiger Nation News. Congratulations to RHS March Staff Member of the Month, Melanie Smith. Thank you, Ms. Smith. And also, Ms. Smith is always eager and willing to help, even at a moment's notice. She has certainly done lots of work here in the AV classroom, and thank you for doing that for us. Ms. Smith is kind and understanding, and she always wears a smile on her face. We're so glad Ms. Smith is a ring gold tiger. The band left yesterday for Washington, D.C. to perform in the Cherry Blossom Parade. Here is some video from the broadcasted event last year. This is a huge deal for our band. 
This is a huge deal for our band, and has been, they have been giving amazing opportunity to represent Ringwald High School um, all the way in D.C. They will return next week, and we look forward to hearing all about it. The JROTC Tiger Guard Drill Team had, had a pretty big weekend. They presented colors at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium for the Atlanta United MLS soccer team last Sunday. What a cool experience for our Tiger Guard cadets to be on the big stadium board and to have them on national television. Oh, my. Uh, we have some pretty big news here in the AV. Our documentary, The Making of Peter Pan, has just been accepted into the LIFF Georgia Film Festival. Over 100 films were submitted, and not just by students. This is a film festival for professional filmmakers as well, some even from outside the United States. The Making of Peter Pan was only one of a few dozen films to be selected to be screened at the event next month. We are very proud, and we will let you know if it brings us home any awards. Uh, speaking of that documentary, we are have an official release date set for The Making of Peter Pan. It will be available to view in full on our YouTube channel on Friday, April 26th. Here's our first trailer for a sneaky to peek. I don't think anybody would believe it if they saw all of the elements that have to work together to come together to, to build a show. He's the bad guy. He wants everybody to be afraid of him, but he's really just kind of funny. Do you know why we have to wait until so late for the release date of the documentary? Because the RHSPA still is not done with their story. Here is some video footage of their latest rehearsals for the Schuler Awards show next week. Last episode of TNN, we told you that RHSPA was nominated for 10 Schuler Awards for Peter Pan, including Best Overall Musical. The Schuler Awards, excuse me, the Schuler Awards will be broadcasted on Georgia Public Broadcasting on Thursday, April 18th at 8 p.m. You can depend on us at TNN to let you know the results. We're gonna take a break and when we come back, We'll show you all the plants that are for sale in the Agricultural's annual plant sale. Who am I here with today? Johnny. Where's the fit from? I got this hoodie from Play-Doh's Closet, and I got these pants from somewhere in my drawer, and I got the shoes from StockX. Who am I here with today? Uh, Eldrick Trazo. Where's the fit from? Uh, I got this white tee from Eddie Bauer. I got the gray sweats from Uniqlo, and I got the Burks from Journey. Who am I here with today? Jax Wilson. Where's the fit from? Uh, I got this jacket from Depop. I got this shirt from Poor Taste. These George are from The Thrift, and these shoes are from Converse. All right. Who am I here with today? Coach Parker. Where's the fit from? So the hoodie is from The Athletic Shop. The jeans are from Walmart. Shoes are from Racker. Who am I here with today? Caleb Howell. Where's your fit from? Uh, I just got this from Costco about last night, actually. The shirt's from H&M. The jeans are American Eagle, and I ordered these online. Who am I here with today? Raina. Where's the fit from? Um, FCCLA, Old Navy, New Balance. Who am I here with today? Uh, Ella. Where's the fit from? Miss Hendricks, my sister, my other sister. Who am I here with today? I'm Sandy Howard. All right, where's the fit from? I got it from Timu, and then the shoes, of course, come from Academies. Got to rock Academies. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Are you ready? My name Daryl Moore and <clears throat> my jacket from Brooklyn's in the mall. My shoes from Be honest with y'all know. <laughs> Pants from Route 21 and my shirt from my drawer. As the weather's warming up, maybe you're thinking of working in the garden. As you begin planting your spring flowers in summer gardens, remember to shop for your plants. Students have grown here at our RHS school. The agriculture classes have been working on growing some beautiful plants for the spring plant sale. It will be held on April 12th and the 13th. Um, they have everything from flowers to household plants to vegetable plants. Heritage, Lakeview, and Ringgold all have greenhouses, and they all will be hosting their own spring plant sale. Those proceeds and money they make go to local programs and activities that do both with the greenhouse and FFA. 
The PBIS Rewards Day will be held on May 13th this year. RHS is looking for performers. We are looking for talented singers, bands, or guitarists. If you would like to audition to perform at the PBIS Rewards Day on May 13th, please see Coach Anna Crisp in room 103. The Boynton Elementary Senior Walk will be Friday, April 19th at 11.15 p.m. Make sure to wear your cap and gown. The Ringgold Elementary and Primary Senior Walk will be held on Thursday, April 25th at 1.45 p.m. Keep in mind the road closure on Poplar Springs Road. Make sure to remember your cap and gown. And when we come back, Teen In reporter Dominic Cawthron will have this week's sports. In baseball, Ringgold won against Adairsville twice, 11-1 and 15-0. And they also won against Ridgeland twice, 12-1 and 11-1. And tonight, there's a game at Lafette. Oh, and in soccer, there's also a game at 7. And tennis, their region tournament got canceled, but it was moved to third seed in state. I'm Dominic Cawthorn. That's it for sports, and have a great weekend. Do you have an idea for TNN? Maybe there's a story you want us to cover, or maybe you have a segment idea. Let us know. Here in the hollowed studios of Tiger Nation News. We're always hunting for content to bring to you. That'll be it for this week's Tiger Nation News. And remember your Tiger expectations. R-H-S. Respect, Respect honesty, honesty, and service. service. Thank you for watching. And go Tigers! Tigers.